So Allah my God. William Ayla, my affiliation is uh, currently I'm the chair of the Department of Land and Natural Resources uh, for the state of Hawaii. Aloha, my name is Kepa Mali. I'm uh, executive director of the Lanai Culture and Heritage Center and senior vice president of uh, culture and historic preservation with Pulama Lanai on the island of Lanai. And our topic was basically uh, underwater cultural resources, you know, uh, uh, and their their relationship in, in Hawaiian culture to uh, to the broader landscape. Yeah. So if I can ask you. Uh how you got involved in the session and what you hope to gain from the the session overall. Okay, uh, I'll start off. Um, well, of course, Keha Watson um, invited uh, me to speak um, at this particular session um, as part of the Marine Protected Area uh, National Advisory uh, Committee. I've actually been involved with uh, maritime uh, cultural heritage as it was called probably eight years ago I think I've been involved and you know my opening statement was I was really really pleased that um, maritime cultural heritage has expanded from shipwrecks and artifacts to uh, the inclusion of landscapes the inclusion of stories the inclusion of um, place-based learning and uh, the transfer of knowledge from generations to other generations. So I was very encouraged at the, at the progression that uh, maritime cultural history has, has made and the, uh, really the welcoming uh, by essentially maritime archaeologists of sort of indigenous perspectives uh, into what is, what is now becoming uh, a much more holistic view of maritime heritage. Uh, my story is much the same as uh, uh, William Ayla's uh, in that Keho uh, invited us to session. And the getting out of it, as you were saying, is that, you know, that it is more than just a one cultural lens, but that there are traditional facets of traditional knowledge of, of legacy landscapes that for countless uh, decades of this kind of work have been overlooked because it's always been through the lens of what was the biggest pile of stones and bones or what was uh, the, the most significant uh, shipwreck, you know, uh, uh, but the discussion uh, that covered things like, you know, submerged landscapes, traditional fish ponds. Uh, uh, in fact, if you go to the island of Hawaii, at least in Puna, uh, there are actually submerged villages also in the Kapoho region. So it's, it's looking at these wide range of things and then the whole is you as a fisherman, you know, uh, and, and as, as a community grassroots activist uh, uh, at, at, in, in this, at that part of your life, you know, the whole relationship of that ocean landscape to the terrestrial landscape and the well-being of people to culture living. So, you know, it's, it, that's what I know I was hoping that we could share and also learn, you know, uh, from, from the practitioners. As well as the uh, the international flavor that was yes, brought. Yes, yes.